everybody, my name is Abby from My Practically Imperfect Life, and today I wanted to introduce you to Guest Hollow's Botany course. This course is designed for high schoolers, but is adaptable for middle school students as well, making it a wonderful option for families who have kids of multiple ages and want to include a botany course in their homeschool curriculum. Now, Guest Hollow takes a really unique approach to how they design their curriculum. Instead of the traditional hardback textbook, tests, worksheets, workbooks, they instead pull together all different types of resources and materials to help teach a subject in a multifaceted way through books, through movies, short videos, hands-on experiments, recipes, really helping to get your student engaged in learning about the subject. Now, as a science course, this curriculum very thoroughly covers key topics in botany, including plant cells, transportation within plants, root stems and leaves and how they work, plant reproduction, photosynthesis and energy in plants, Punnett squares, and different types of plant classifications, but that is not all that this course will introduce your student to. Your student will also learn about over 100 different specific types of trees and flowers, learning how different plants have impacted us throughout history, looking at things like chocolate, sugar, potatoes, wheat, corn, and why have those things been so important in the course of human history. They'll learn about individuals like Gregor Mendel, George Washington Carver, and Milton Hershey, and find out in-depth information about bees and the important role they play as pollinators. They'll even get an introduction to composting and find out the role of earthworms in soil development. If you have a student who loves to get outdoors or do some drawing, there are even suggestions on how to incorporate nature journaling and artwork into this course. So how exactly does this course work? Well, it all starts with the botany schedule. When you make your purchase, you receive the Guest Hollow Botany Schedule as a PDF and a Word document download. So you have the option of being able to go in and edit the Word document if you so choose. First up is the book list, and at first glance, it will look like a lot of books. But don't worry, they've ranked them for you. Books are ranked from one to four, with the number one books being the ones that they consider the most important to the curriculum. And then it goes down in importance from there. There also will be a detailed supply list showing you everything you would need to do every single hands-on activity, experiment, or recipe that is mentioned throughout the rest of the schedule. After the supply list comes the 36-week schedule. For each week, they'll provide you with a list of the books they recommend along with reading assignments, links to hands-on activities, recipes, and experiments, links to YouTube videos, TV episodes, and documentaries. There are even recommendations for different activities to do within nature journaling notebooks. Think of this list of suggestions as a buffet where you can pick and choose the things that you would like to do based on the amount of time you'd like to put into the course or your family's budget. Now, at first glance, you might say this looks like a lot of reading assignments and a lot of videos. But in fact, most of the reading assignments are on the shorter side, allowing your student to take in the information in bite-sized chunks. Similarly, most of the videos are also on the shorter side. So in our homeschool, we have had a lot of fun trying out different types of activities on different weeks. My daughter has particularly enjoyed trying out the different recipes related to the plants she's learning about on that given week. She has made cookies incorporating lavender. She made homemade peanut butter. She's tried different types of hot peppers. She has just really enjoyed that aspect of the course. We've also really liked that there's the option to include experiments because I think that having some hands-on experiments is a great way to really understand these concepts and see them in action. Now, as I mentioned before, you don't need to purchase every single book on the book list. You could certainly purchase the ones that are ranked the highest, look for these books at your local library, and Guest Hollow also has some wonderful information on their website about how to save money while doing a living book curriculum. We did choose to purchase all of the books simply because we love any excuse to expand our home library. And some of our favorite books from this curriculum have been Wicked Plants, 100 Flowers and How They Got Their Names, Botany for Dummies, 50 Plants That Changed the Course of History, Botany in Eight Lessons, and The Bee Book. I also highly recommend the Draw Like an Artist book as one of my daughter's favorite parts of this course has been writing in her narration notebook every day and including sketches of the different plants that she's been learning to draw. Another nice aspect of the schedule is that Guest Hollow has taken the time to include notes that are helpful to you as the teacher. For example, if a particular video, documentary, or book is going to cover a topic that might be considered mature, they are gonna put a note in there on what that topic is, so that way you can review it and determine if that's something you would like your student to do. Here's another example where they've made note of certain pages that do mention evolution, 
So that way, if you wish to skip over that part of the reading, you can do so. So whether you have a plant obsessed teenager who wants to learn about all things botany, or you're just looking for a good solid science course to include in your homeschool curriculum, I highly recommend checking out Guest Hollow Botany. I guarantee you and your student will have a wonderful time working through this course together. But fair warning, you may find yourself doing things like purchasing your first grow light system, starting all of your own seeds, tripling your number of houseplants, and purchasing adorable little coffee mugs that say Plant Mom. <laughs>